Here, uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> I stole your lines yesterday. Talking. Imagine a knee replacement procedure that reduces recovery time walking the same day that, even. I mean, that's really amazing <laughs> to think about. And it's actually happening in your community. Muthana Sartawi is the orthopedic surgeon and chair for the Department of Orthopedics at Christie Clinic. It's good to have you. Thank you. It's good to be so here. So we were really excited to hear a little bit more about the background for this and how you developed mm -hmm. the, these procedures. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so the traditional technique used in knee replacements requires the surgeon to cut the main muscle and tendon uh, when performing a knee replacement. And where is that on the knee? This is basically a quadriceps tendon, which is right here in the front of the knee. Okay. Uh, typically, I mean, this is a, a good approach. It gives the surgeon excellent exposure to place the components in the correct orientation. However, it's been studied and shown it delays early recovery in terms of straight leg raise and ambulation on the day of surgery. So the technique we've developed preserves all the tendons and muscles around the knee, yet still gives the surgeon the same excellent exposure to put the components in the correct position. And so that's also going to shorten recovery time. Exactly. Really? They're going to be up walking that same day? Yes. Yes. Fortunately, the majority of our patients, if not all, are up the same day of surgery and are, can, be, can go home the same day of surgery. Wow. That's, that's really amazing. That's impressive. And the proof that this is actually being used are some of the rather impressive clientele that you've had. Uh, engage your services. So some royals and some dignitaries from overseas. How yes. did they learn about you? Well, there were some interviews that have been that been aired on Middle Eastern media, such as Al Jazeera TV and on Al Arabiya. And ever since, patients have been contacting me and flying actually from the Middle East to Dubai, Saudi, Qatar, Doha to Champaign, Illinois. Well, that says a lot about this procedure and how special it is to you know have it here in Central Illinois. Correct. Yes. And patients here can basically have this under insurance. Most of these patients who are coming overseas are paying out of pocket, but here we're offering to the community at uh, the same insurance. Yeah. So who would be a good candidate for this surgery? I'm sure there's different cases. Correct. Pretty much any patient that's indicated for a knee replacement is a good candidate uh, for this procedure. Uh, there are a certain group of patients, such as morbidly obese patients or diabetics who have uncontrolled diabetes uh, that are at higher risk of complications, whether with this technique or any other uh, knee replacement procedure. So what's the difference between this? I mean, you were kind of talking a little bit about that with the Correct. traditional knee replacement. So this improves recovery time. Correct. And at the end of the day, I'm sure people want to know, does it improve your overall recovery? Because even if it takes longer and you get far, that's okay. But yeah. this does both? Yes, exactly, because the first few weeks after surgery, your range of motion, your strengthening influences the longevity of how you perform with your knee replacement. Mm. And therefore, since early, these patients are having minimal pain, are able to walk and perform very well with physical therapy, do their exercises, they actually do uh, very well in the long term. We're looking at some video now, so kind yes. of walk us through what we're looking sure. at. This is the quadricep tendon that you had mentioned. Exactly. So the, the traditional approach cuts that quadricep tendon. There's another approach that cuts the vastus medialis muscle. Those are, I'd say, the most commonly used approaches today. Hmm. And the technique we've uh, developed preserves all these muscles and tendons. I know when my husband had some surgery done on his leg, he was given a nerve block. Yes. Is that something that you also do with this procedure? A lot of surgeons do that. However, with this technique and the program uh, that we've developed, we did not see the need to do so. so oh, look at that. Whoa. Minutes after surgery. That's yes. crazy. So this is the typical clinical outcome we see. This is a patient hours after surgery, as you can see, walking unassisted, comfortably, Briskly even. without a limp. Uh, and uh, even the physical therapy team can't, and he's you know, trying to run. And <laughs> well, you, don't, you don't advise running, right? No, right? I don't, but I think he was trying to show off there, which is fine. <laughs> now, is, I mean, look, watching him do that is so impressive, but is he going to be hurting, like, later after being, you know, this... You know, vigorous. That's, with that's a good question. I tell them to take it easy be, uh, because it can swell up. But as long as you follow the instructions, you should be okay. This is another patient from Saudi Arabia who is getting dressed and he's dressed and ready to go home the same day of surgery. <laughs> this is a patient, the night of surgery in his hotel, a nightgown ready to go to bed. Since they go home the same day, they enjoy the comfort of their own bed. 
uh, this is the next day our physical therapy team visits the patients at home and ensures that they continue to do well and perform the correct exercises. This is a patient who flew from Saudi Arabia to have his knee surgery done here and hours after surgery he's uh, being discharged. Waving goodbye yes, so he's, long. Yes, he's actually walking to his That's car here. Amazing. Now how do you do follow-up with people who come here all the way from yeah, Dubai? Like Riyadh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So a lot of it is done through the internet. They send me pictures, they get x-rays done there and I talk to them them. And now with Do a you know, Skype. exactly with the, <laughs> with the social media, it's very easy to basically see how they're doing, and uh, we're in very close contact. Unfortunately, they don't need much these patients because they heal in two to three weeks. Yeah. Well, that's some good bedside manner too. Well, and global medicine is uh, is, such, is such a 21st century thing. I mean, this is just a reality that you can consult with people from all around the world. Exactly. That's very true. Yeah. So cool. Well, we're excited to have you here in Central Illinois. And Thank you very much. Bringing it's this procedure to, to um, folks here. How can people get in contact with you well uh, Christie Clinic I mean we have our website I'm happy to share it uh, and uh, I'm one of the surgeons at Christie Clinic I do my uh, surgeries at Sarah Bush Lincoln Hospital so all right well That's Google my name. we know all those uh, websites which exactly. we will connect our friends with <laughs> at CLiving.tv thank you so much awesome. Dr. Satawi thank you and good luck with everything thank you. Yeah. Really cool. yeah. tell our friends in Dubai to watch CLiving <laughs> <That's right. laughs>